Superboy Goes Nuclear in Superman issue 38. Racing through the deep ocean, Aqualad tracks Superboy and Robin's submarine to a hidden underwater base. Inside the base, Superboy wants to run some tests on his solar flare power to see if it affects his other powers. The base's alarms ring and Robin knows the Titans have found them. Damien arms the weapon systems but John doesn't think that that is necessary. Starfire, Kid Flash and Aqualad breach the base and are immediately attacked by the Super Sons. The Titans try and get them to stop attacking and eventually Aqualad stops them with some water funnels. The Titans tell the boys that Raven and Beast Boy chose the wrong side and that they are there to try and help John, not kill him. In hypertime, Connor, Cassie, and Bart are pulled through time by Tim's severed hand, which is acting as a chronal beacon of sorts and dragging them to him to the right time. Damien, meanwhile, is angry that the Titans want to knock them out since it is the only way Raven can't track them. John agrees with the Titans and knocks Damien out before giving the team a set of coordinates and getting Kid Flash to knock him out as well. Later on, the team arrive at the Fortress of Solitude. Superboy awakens to find the fortress was a battleground recently and looking around John finds his father still trapped inside the red kryptonite egg. He desperately tries to free his father but Superman tells him the Titans need to get John away from the kryptonite so he can fight Tim should he appear. As Aqualad moves Superman into the ice, John erupts with power, which also frees his father as Tim, Raven, and Beast Boy arrive. Superman is quick to grab Tim, who says that Superboy won't survive the second solar flare since he is weak from the first. If he dies, however, millions will be saved. As the flare builds, the Titans of Tomorrow arrive and take control of the situation, getting the other Titans to put aside their differences to help Superboy as the team begin containing John's building solar flare. Superman gets Wally and Bart to speed around him, reversing the flare's polarity. Not worrying about Tim anymore, Superman meets Connor, who is told John is inside the sphere of energy. Not wanting to fail John again, the Supermen both speed into the sphere. Still fading from the timeline, Tim finds himself attacked by Damien who thinks that he has killed the others. Tim activates a device on his belt and the solar flare begins being sucked into it. As the energy builds, Tim is obliterated by the power he is taking on, leaving everyone, including John, Connor and Superman alive. Superman says that Tim saved them by giving his all and as he says it, Tim finds himself thrown back into hypertime where he continues to fall. Superman issue 38 drew the awesome Superboy centric story towards its closure as Tim Drake is defeated and cast back into hypertime. One of the biggest things to come out about this story and issue was Superman meeting Connor Kent for the first time in DC Rebirth. I love that instead of standing around and talking and introducing themselves to each other, the two of them just got to work to save John. It will be interesting to see the final part to see how they actually interact and where that leaves Connor and how he will appear in the current time or explain exactly where he is. Another thing I hope that is explored is the effect this story had on the Teen Titans and how the two members of the team Raven and Beast Boy basically betrayed everyone and I'm looking to see if that like shatters the team, leads to like a team change up or something. Very interested to find out actually in this last part which looks to be jam packed and I can't wait for it. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Kate Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude. Thank you so much for watching.